Um, Standby Counsel, Mr. Klaus is present. Chief Deputy District Attorney Stacey Cohen is also present. It's my understanding that the motion to recuse is denied by Judge Jones. Um, it's also my understanding Judge Jones stated to me that Mr. Davis, you're requesting to have a mental evaluation. I went to the hospital last night, to the mental hospital, to get screened to a place that I won't pay for myself. I don't want no state treatment because I can afford my own medical treatment. I went, sat there in a screening room at the behavior, you can check the records, the behavior mental clinic, because you have pushed me, this court has pushed me to an edge where I was very dangerous last night, and I wanted to do something and be very dangerous, and I couldn't sleep, and my mind was telling me things. So I said the best thing to do is drive yourself to the mental hospital, get an evaluation, calm down. They put me in a room for an hour and a half. The doctor will say, I'll be with you in about, 50, about an hour, Raymond, because we have other patients. My ankle bracelets start going off. I said, I got really violent with the staff. I apologized to them. I said, not really violent, just loud. I got real loud with them. I said, I apologize. I cannot stay here. I must go back home or else I will be arrested because my monitor is going off and the police will come and get me. Okay. They said, Mr. Davis, we want to, we want to screen you first. Uh, then we can screen you. Tomorrow at 8 o'clock. I said, I cannot be screened at 8 o'clock. I have to be in court at 9. I said, tell the judge that you need to be screened. We will give you a mental evaluation. You can come back with the court. I have never been so mad in my life. What this court is doing is called railroading. To not to take every black out of the jury, to take every black, out, every black male out of the jury, to take, uh, to say, I cannot have any witnesses to defend myself. Okay, so we're going to correct the record right now because you continue to lie. Okay. So tell me which African American male I kicked off the jury. You go ahead and tell me that. Which one? I didn't say you kicked them off. You said this court. No, so said, what, tell me which I one. I said there is no African American male. Should I make that magically appear? I here? said there is no African American male. Do you want me to make that magically appear? You made me a magically appear, Davis. I make yes. you magically yeah. appear? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I need a mental evaluation, and I want to do it on my own because I want to pay for my own doctors. Okay. Um, and Ms. Collins, do you have any representations to make in regards to what Mr. Davis is stating about uh, what was going on with him last night and how he was feeling about what he wanted to do? I don't have any representations. I can tell this court just from my observations from the inception of when we've been in here, you know, the reporting to the FBI, um, the volatile, volatile behavior, the breakdown yesterday. I've had concerns about his competency that I think I voiced to day one, so I have no representations to make about uh, what treatment he sought last night. I can uh, tell the court that he made a lot of representations to Judge Jones about how the trial was transpiring, um, the state purposefully excluding African-American males from the jury panel, things that just didn't happen today, yesterday. So that obviously causes me concern about his ability to accurately perceive, um, digest, and relay what's going on around him. I don't think he is probably at the best capacity now to And in regards the to the his representations that he wanted to do something very dangerous last night, do you? Well, well, obviously that causes the state concern. I mean, he has been hyper-focused on what I have done to, uh, you know, torpedo or tank him or give him an unfair trial. He's talked about Googling me. He's been to the FBI about me. When he says he wants to do something very dangerous, if he's actively dangerous, of course that causes me concern. It causes me concern for my witnesses. Uh, causes me concern that he may self-harm. I mean, I don't know what I, you know, I don't have... I do have some record of him being violent in the past, but it's in the far past. I, I can't say what he's going to do, but of course that's concerning to the state. I mean, if he's going to get comped, my request would be that he be remanded and comped by uh, doctors of this court so that we get reports and we know what's going on. So. Your Honor, I, I have no violence on my record. You just talked about you were going to do Honor, something incredibly I, I, dangerous. Your Honor, I said my mind. 
I went, if I was dangerous or if I thought I seeked help at 1 a.m. in the morning, I got out of bed. I drove to the hospital and I checked myself in. I checked myself in, so that's how you de-escalate the situation. So I wasn't, I just got out of bed, I said I'm not, the anxiety and the anger in me wasn't to go out and ram somebody's car or shoot someone or do bodily harm to anyone. I felt that I was at a point in my life where I was having a breakdown, I couldn't breathe, I couldn't eat, so I said I need to seek medical help. So I got in my car and just drove <coughs> I didn't That's speak. completely different than what you just represented no. to the court ten, five minutes no, ago. I said, like, no, let me talk. You said you were thinking about doing something very dangerous. You were worried about what you were going to do, so this is what we're going to do. The defendant's going to be remanded into custody. I have great concern in regards to the representations that he has made today in regards to what he said that he was going to do. So the state's motion to have him remanded for purposes of an evaluation will be done. I will have that evaluation done this afternoon. Why can't I have, why can't I have my own doctor? Why do I have to have state doctors? So I will have the evaluation done, hopefully at the jail this afternoon. And um, the evaluation, uh, depending on the results of the evaluation, if the evaluation comes back as, uh, I don't, I don't say clean, but what I'm saying is if the evaluation comes back in regards to the defendant is being malingering or being manipulative to get out of a trial, then we will continue the trial tomorrow uh, at 10 a.m. If the doctors believe that there are some competency issues, we'll address that tomorrow outside the presence of the jury at 10 a.m. So I will call over to the uh, jail right now, and I will tr attempt to get the evaluation set up as soon as I can. Um, so obviously, would you have a problem taking that, Mr. Cross? Not if you, not, not if you. No, I'm going to keep my own record. Okay, that's fine. We'll make sure that, that it's all uh, put in with this property, and I'll go contact the jail and make sure an evaluation uh, is done as soon as I can get that done. Okay. Your Honor, if that is, just for the record, if that's not able to be accomplished, the state would be requesting a formal competency so that we have documentation on file that he is competent for court standards. And so, yeah, and we'll, I'll, I'll have that done. We had this happen a few trials ago, the same exact thing, and the doctors uh, provided a report uh, discussing the findings. So it actually is something that happens somewhat common, um, but we'll have the formalized paperwork either way. me and let me know that before I had come on the bench and Marshall O'Kelly could you uh, could you reiterate what you had stated to me yes your honor uh, shortly before you took the bench uh, mr. Davis made a statement that he would not continue with this jury and that he had an, had an intention to go off in front of him I warned him that that would not go well with him he uh, indicated that he, he didn't care all due respect to me all right so, um, as the record has already shown, Mr. Davis, uh, I believe, is trying to manipulate once he saw um, that he wasn't getting every single thing he wanted, um, that he is trying everything he can at this point to get what he wants. He has told this court that he's going to leave and get surgery on Monday because his house arrest bracelet is bothering him. He provided a doctor note that said he had slight bruising. I offered him to get him a new anklet, uh, a new ankle monitor, and put it on the other foot. He told me he refused that request. 
uh, when he, this jury has eight African Americans, the state did not pick one African American. Um, when he, he is very upset that there, there are no African, uh, African American males on the jury, I do note that there are two that are alternates. Um, when he tried to file a witness notice late, uh, I explained to him, after, you know, the state objected, I explained to him that I was happy to consider him filing it late, but I just needed him to show good cause. He also flew off the handle of that. Um, and so I believe that these are all strategies that he uses to get what he wants. As soon as court was over yesterday, he pretended to call Governor Steve Sisolak on his cell phone. Um, I think he's a very, very manipulative human being that will use whatever strategies he can to get what he wants. And so if he, in fact, um, does have some competency issues, we're happy to get him the help he needs, but we're going to need that evaluation done, and I'll go make sure that those arrangements are made right now.